they did it for Jared in game number 300, and he's with Bradley. That's right. We've got Hudson and we've got... Papa. Papa. And... Sally. Sally! <laughs> How was tonight? Uh, mate, this is what it's about. Honestly, it's um, just super grateful, Fred, um, to have my kids, my family from New Zealand, uh, Brizzy, my best mates, and all my best mates here on the field, you know? Like, this is what it's about, mate. Just super grateful. Um, really, really humbled. Say hello. You want to sing a song? Yeah, and having, having my kids on the field, mate, honestly, it's, um, it's a dream come true. So when you first came over, did you come over to play a bit of golf, or was it always footy? Golf. Really? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I can't imagine no, you no, as a golfer. No, I, they I, tell I, me you were this great golfer as a young bloke. I, I enjoy golf, mate. I'm a bit of a hacker, but... Um, yeah, we, we played in a social club and say, hey, baby, this, hey. Is, this, is, the, this is the wild child. The naughty one. The wild child. Um, yeah, mate, I'm, I'm just super grateful to be a, at such a proud club, to represent this club um, every single weekend, to be out here with these boys. This is what it's about, mate. Can you believe your 300 games come up against South Sydney? <laughs> How fitting, right? How good. After um, the seven weeks last year, um, yeah, it's just meant to be, right? Like, how fitting. Um, and, yeah, it was a great game. Obviously, we started well when, uh, to play at home against the Bunnies. Um, what a day. Everyone talks about the Jared Wadi Hargreaves on the field and now the Jared Wadi Hargreaves off the field. What's it like to go home now to a young family after doing what you do on a footy field? I think they just give you perspective, mate. You know what it's like. Um, I love what I do, Fred. Uh, I love turning up every day. I love these guys coming to work. Um, I love representing such a proud club. But going home, mate, they give me a purpose. Uh, they give me a why. Um, to see how much joy it brings these kids. Hey, baby girl. Um, see all the kids at school, you know, how much they love footy. and uh, it's, This is what dreams are made of, mate. And I uh, couldn't be more grateful and, and thankful to, to the game and to uh, the Roosters. What about this man here? Uh, he's right the there. He's the Don, mate. He's, I'll get him uh, over. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> oh, cool. How are you, mate? You told me you were nervous before the game. Well done, mate. Proud of you, proud of you. You said you were nervous before the game. Yeah, very, here. very nervous. Very nervous. He's always but, nervous. But How I could you be nervous when he's in I your team? I knew we were going to come good, mate. This is what we dream of, you know, don't we? Thanks, fantastic. We're very proud of you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You've been around for a while. The start of this season, what are you feeling about the club this year? Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, what, what uh, this guy's done. He's going to uh, play more games than you, I think. No. Oh, mate, for this club he has. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Fantastic. We're so proud of him. I'm so proud of the whole team. What a great performance tonight, you know? What about this joint? Oh, How good is this? 40,000. And this is our home. This is our home. <laughs> nice, nice work. James? Uh, thank you, Brad. Uncle Nick there with his Chief Lieutenant out there tonight. Game 300 for the great Kiwi. Jared Warrior Hargreaves there with another Roosters legend in Brad Fittler. Cam, another 130 and he's got your moan down, mate. <laughs> uh, I tell you, what a way to celebrate for him tonight, though. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the entire club, they would have celebrated the entire week for Jared for his 300th. 294 of those matches, of course, with this very proud club. Um, and he's just been a warrior, hasn't he? 35 years of age, James, and he's still out there producing out in the middle. It's the toughest position on the field, the play is in, in that prop position. You're running into brick walls all game. You're standing in front of the biggest men on the field. Um, you know, and he's played three, three test matches for New Zealand on top of that as well. It's so. pretty unbelievable, isn't it? Like, there's no hiding in that position. No. Not a minute that he's on the field is he able to hide at all. He is in the absolute thick of the body on the line. Yeah. That much footy, you no, know, like the exactly, hold that it takes. Exactly right, Alana. And, you know, he played a little bit of time off the bench at the start of his career, but for the most part, he, he's been the starting prop. He's had that number eight jersey on the, on the back of his of his jumper and he's been the go-to man for all of these teams that he's played for. He's been the guy that's really set the tone for this Roosters outfit and is a huge part of that, that run they went on with those premierships as well. So 
What a fantastic effort. A great night for Jared, and what a way to celebrate. It'll be a very memorable night, not only for him, but the rest of his family as well. Yeah, the Rooster stalwarts uh, in form tonight, leading by example. And a hit home last night when Paul Gallen said that man on screen was the reason he retired. He saw him running at him in one game and went, you know what? I've had enough here. <laughs> JWH, it's all yours. And the special presentation happening as we speak for the Roosters champion. Stay with us. Our post-match coverage continues here from Allianz Stadium in just a moment. The Roosters simply too good for the Rabbitohs tonight. And there's a reason that man is smiling this evening. We'll break down all the highlights that Latrell Mitchell sin bin. We'll get the thoughts of our panel on that one as well and try and catch up with a guy who also acknowledged a special moment tonight, Connor Watson, returning to the NRL for the first time in a long time. And then we count down this Sunday. What a moment it'll be. Manly and Parramatta, the two old foes. We dig into the archives. A great old school 80s footy commercial coming your way here on Golden Point. You know, tonight was a really special occasion for us. We had Jared's 300th and Gussie's 150th. So you really want to play well in those milestone games, right? You want to make it a memorable night for those guys. And yeah, to, to be honest, like, we probably didn't expect that, but um, yeah, we, we, we did do a great job for those boys. So I'm really happy with that. You mentioned Jared there. He's been such a big inspiration for you. You were um, telling me in the ad break that you roomed with him in Las Vegas. So you've gotten to know him quite well. Uh, how big of an inspiration is he for you? Yeah, unbelievable. The guy just plays so hard every week. He's done it for, I don't know, 15 years. For him to reach 300 games is like, it's a miracle to be honest. The way the bloke plays, he plays on a, on a knife's edge every game and gives his all to the team. And that, that was the big thing about this week and what we'd spoken about was, you know, what Jared has sort of done for all of us and he does every week. So let's go out there and just put it all on the table for him. And yeah, it's been like, it was a big week. Obviously 300 games is a massive, massive milestone. So there's been a fair bit of attention on him. He doesn't really like it. We had a big team meeting yesterday where everyone was sort of telling him how much we love him and how much we respect him and how grateful we are for what he's done for us and our careers and taking us all under under his wing. And by the end of it, he's like, all right, boys, can we stop this? Let's just get on with it. We've got a game to play. So that's just classic Kim, but, you know, he doesn't want it to be about himself. He wants it to be about the team, but, yeah, it's a special one. Yeah, it certainly was. Great to see Jared and great to see you back in action as well in the NRL. So look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you very much. All right, James, back to you. This year... NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And, of course, my favourite, Freddie in the own. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.